The news is out. Nissan's got a new Frontier coming. Yes, finally. New Frontier will be here, I'm assuming, by the end of the year. I don't know. We're going to make a lot of assumptions in this video. I'm going to tell you what to expect on a new 2020 Nissan Frontier coming up right now. Hello, it's Tim Estrella, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion of trucks and SUVs. If that's your passion too, hit subscribe below, hit bell notification to be notified no videos put out. On Monday night's live stream, which I'll link above, we had a discussion about trucks and new models coming out. We were talking Ridgeline, we were talking uh, Frontier as well, and another one that escapes me. What's the live stream? Anyways, Nissan Frontier, and I've thought about this for a while, uh, about doing a what to expect video, because it's been rumored and talked about and finally like last month it was confirmed that a new frontier is coming and so really we're down to timing and we're down to what it's going to be like and so let's dig in what this new frontier is going to look like for starters let's see where nissan is as a company today i think that's going to play a big role in what the next frontier is going to be so looking at this screen share i'm going to show you now often when thinking about future products we have to take a look back at the overall business and Overall business at Nissan, well, has been great. So we know the CEO's in prison, uh, waiting trial, whatever the heck's going on there. And the first quarter since he's since he's not been the CEO of Nissan and Renault and, and the Alliance, uh, they slashed the quarterly output. So now I expect to sell 5.6 million vehicles worldwide in the first quarter, ending in March down from 5.9%, 5.9 million. Net prof profit, this is big, net profit like they come in at 3.7 billion, nearly 20% below the previous prediction. Difficulties are in the United States and Europe, and this is where I want to really get to. This is the point. This is the big point right here. Yes, sales were down in January. They've been down year over year. They're down 6.6%, so things aren't great. Uh, but the, he said the company is trying to, and I, right here, improve, I get my cursor there, improve its brand value and become more competitive in the United States. The new CEO, um, Saeki, Seikawa, I think I maybe say it right, said, so if they're trying to improve their brand value, that's a very important thing. That leads me to wonder about what trims are gonna offer in a new Nissan Frontier. So as you can see, sales haven't been great and there's a lot of turmoil going on at the top. Now this is gonna not so much dictate so much product planning because they do have that planned out in years in advance you can see this video above where i interviewed nissan titan uh chief engineer about the changes they're doing over there and it is in japan really good interview i'll put that up above but anyways get back to what they're doing today is that you have a really a brand to me that's in flux so when the nissan titan came out they really blew things apart right all new truck all new design new cabs new engine new everything and sales well they haven't really caught up the expectations they wanted to have at that time and so now I have a new Frontier coming out. And the thing that I think was funny with Frontier is you remember back to the first quarter sales video we did. And I'll put, again, the link above. Lots of stuff to look on this, on this channel, by the way. Just subscribe. Uh, you know, we looked at the sales, and it, Nissan Frontier is still a really good selling pickup, even though it's really old. And so you, Tacoma is still top dog. But as new competitors come into the marketplace, sales have just grown in the marketplace. Nissan Frontier stays right there. And so you got to ask yourself, okay, step back. Think about this for a minute. Why is Nissan Frontier sell? In my opinion, in articles I've written over the years as a journalist, it sells for two main reasons. It's a basic truck. It doesn't have all the pizzazz and newer trucks, less stuff to break, and it's a very value-driven proposition. It's one of the cheapest pickups in the marketplace. You can still get it in manual. You can still get rubber floor mats. It's a very basic work truck. And so I think that works out well. And if you remember that quote I just showed you, Nissan's working to improve their value proposition in North America. I think the Frontier really fits that mold. And, but you have the, the Nissan Titan in the background, the blowing up, starting all over. So they have two ways it can go. They could blow everything up, start all over, or they take the measured approach, say, I'm calling it the Toyota approach, of making improvements, but not wowing people, but trying to keep that market share and keep that value proposition that makes it sell well. And I mean wowing auto journalists because we're snobs. So let's look at a couple of things that they've done recently, because I think that really impacts what designs look like. So I think the front of this truck and design of this truck is gonna really make a big difference. Cause I think it, from the Nissan Titan standpoint, 
I think the design hurts that truck in overall sales. And so I'm gonna throw a few images on the screen and I wanna start with what they've done in the last a couple of refreshes for different vehicles. So let's start with their best-selling SUV they currently have. The best-selling SUV they have is the Nissan Rogue. And so you can see it on the screen. And I got these images from Wiki, so if you want to see them, you can see them there. And uh, pretty blah, right? Pretty blah. And now I'll look at the Nissan Rogue. Whoa, a lot more stylish. We can see from the overall design, the whole shape of it's more stylish. The mirrors are more stylish. The chrome around the, the um, in this case, is a higher trim. The chrome around the windows is more stylish. And the front end has really changed, right, over the years. And this isn't the only one. So let's, if you go back and look at, say, the Nissan Murano, the second, the, the bigger SUV, this is the Murano of Gen 1. This is the new Murano. Wow, right? You can definitely see the, the differences. A lot more stylish in the, on the second generation, a lot less stylish in the first generation. And so they do this throughout. So if you go and look at, say, the Nissan Titan, here's the Titan. Remember, really blah, not much going on the front end, uh, not really a very stylish looking truck. And now, bam, look at all those changes. I mean, bigger, bolder, stronger, uh, tougher looking. I mean, a completely different blow up. And so you have some discussions about what they're going to do. And so now I'm going to go ahead and throw this stuff in Photoshop and have some fun and follow them with me as I play around with the designs. Now, after talking about those examples and showing you the different ways they've changed the design over the years, it begs the question in what direction Nissan's going to go. This is the current Frontier, and we can see it's got the kind of styling that I've shown in the past, that front end that's really kind of blah, and kind of the blah side panels. And so are they going to go more Nissan Rogue front end? That's their best-selling vehicle. Or are they going to blow it apart and make it a baby Titan? So sometimes you have fun with this, and you kind of throw this in Photoshop, and play around with this idea of them going, let's say they go with the Rogue. So we'll take the Rogue like this, grab our race tool, we'll get rid of some of this stuff here. And then I think I'm going to keep the door, the back door there, get rid of this uh, ring here, and come on around to the front here. So if we were to take this, for example, and I were to slide this in a little bit like this, a little bit more. And then if I were to take and change my brush to a little bit less hard and come around, we can kind of see what the Rogue front end would say look like on this. So that's the Nissan Rogue with the Titan body, or excuse me, the Frontier body. So I'll get these lines matched up a little bit better. Um, so that's that could be how it's going to go. You could have the bigger hood here, you know, kind of give it that design, like bigger stance, more powerful front end. The, the change there as far as the um, front end would be more like the current generation Rogue. And then this would tie in pretty nicely with the, and I'll get it here. Now that's the Navara look, for example, and we can see that front end looks different, but it's a little bit similar to the Rogue. Now they have said it's not going to look, it's not going to be a Navara, it's going to be its own truck. So maybe that's not what they go. So let's say they don't go with the Rogue. What if they give it the Titan look? So let's add the Titan to this. So let's say they decide to make this the same as the Nissan Titan, and we make it a baby Titan. Okay. So if we take this Titan and we kind of matched up a little bit better make it a little bit smaller and we kind of throw it up like this and then oh i gotta so let's keep let's keep just this here and get rid of that there and i'm going to go back and do the mirrors in a minute Let's say we keep that front end, and then we squish a little bit. Now 
that's kind of how that looks. So that would be the Frontier with the Titan front end. So that's a possibility as well. Uh, I don't feel like they're going to go that route. I think it's going to be the Rogue route because that, to me, more resembles where they're heading in design language, especially this V on the front of the grill. But it's hard to say. It's anyone's guess. You know, Nissan's done so many different changes over the years. They've really blown things apart. So the question is, which way are they going to blow it apart? Are they going to go like this? Whole new design language? Or are they going to keep the Nissan Titan look and just make it a baby Titan? Okay, that was kind of fun, wasn't it? It's always fun to play around with Photoshop. Always a good day to play around with design and see what they're going to end up doing. I don't know. I, I'm mixed. I'm going to go with Murano, or the uh, Rogue front end is my choice. Just because that's the way they've done the other design language, and uh, I could see them doing that. But I, you know, the Frontier maybe where they or the Titan maybe where they went ahead. So now let's look at the interior. The interior is always a big question mark in my mind with Nissan. I, you know, overall that the vehicles have a uh, very value-driven interior. I should say. <laughs> let's just go with that. So if you look at the current Frontier interior, we can see it's very straightforward. It's very bland. There's not a lot of excitement. There's not a lot of going on small screen. The steering wheel's got the still steering wheel control buttons, but they're the older ones, uh, the dash, there's not much exciting going on. If you look at the current generation Navara, for example, which has been refreshed faster than the Nissan Frontier has, you can see a lot more design going on. You can see a lot more styling around the center stack, a lot more um, a bigger buttons. The steering wheel still has the buttons on it, but they're in different shape. The steering wheel is different shape overall and the um, screen, the, the and so you can see a lot of changes. And if you look at the Nissan Titan, for example, you can see these same changes as well. You can see that same design. See those, uh, around those air vents, you can see those pieces of chrome there. If you flip back to Navara, you can see those same pieces of chrome. So the same idea goes back and forth. And we can see the we have bigger buttons, we have bigger, um, the steering wheel is different, the steering wheel shape is different, we have a bigger grab handle on the bottom of both sides. And so I could see the Nissan Frontier being a cross between the two. I can't quite Photoshop these to make it happen just because there's so much going on, but I would look at the Nissan Navara as an example of what a Nissan Frontier could look like on the inside. Okay, let's talk powertrains. That's gonna be the biggest question with this. A lot of people aren't gonna wanna know. So currently we have a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder engine and made it to a five speed manual or five speed automatic. And we're going to have a 4.0 liter V6 engine with a five-speed automatic, five-speed automatic engine or transmission, and we have the five-speed in all extensive purposes is old, so you know that's going to get tossed. So we're at least going to have a six-speed, or in the case of a Titan, we have the seven-speed. They may bring that seven-speed down the Frontier, like many brands are doing, putting the additional gearing in there and help with fuel economy. The 4.0 liter V6 is a pretty old engine. It and produces 261 horsepower and 281 foot-pounds of torque. I could see them updating that powertrain quite a bit. I could see them going smaller as well. I don't think you need that much of a dig displacement as used to in years past. The, the Nissan Murano, for example, has a 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 260 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs at 240 foot-pounds of torque. So they could take that engine and tweak the transmission shift points and get about the same performance they do in the 4 liter. And I bet you that 3.5 liter V6 is going to weigh less and be more fuel efficient. Now, the other big question for this is what about the diesel? Now, we all saw the diesel a while ago with a 2.8 liter Cummins diesel engine in it. And so this got people a lot of people excited to see a small displacement diesel engine in a midsize truck, a la, this is what happened, Chevy Colorado has it, the Jeep Gladiator is going to have it, Toyota Tacoma has been, fans have been begging for the, that truck to have it. And so you have two competitors in the marketplace going to make sure they have this. I could see Nissan doing the same thing. Again, as we listened to that interview from Japan, he was very high on Cummins and very thought highly of them, and he's a truck guy. And so I could see the rest of truck guys in Nissan saying the same thing, that the Cummins worked out well with them in the Titan, it should work out well with them in the Frontier. So I could see that being very much something to come to the marketplace with. Now, what about overall size? Currently, the Nissan Frontier is the smallest mid-sized truck in the marketplace, and that is really, again, made part of its value proposition. It's smaller, it's cheaper, it fits better for a lot of people's lifestyles. I, I could see it growing. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be the same small size. You know, when they redid it in 2005, they grew the same size of Toyota Tacoma at that time. And I see them doing that again when they bring this back up. I think it's gonna be wider, 
I think it's gonna be longer and I think it's gonna be taller. It's gonna be more on par with the rest of the midsize trucks in the marketplace. And that may frustrate some owners who'd want that smaller size. I could see payload and towing be competitive in class. I don't see it being best in class, but I see it being very competitive in class. They will keep the Pro 4X package. They will probably make some tweaks to the suspension. Clearly, it needs some tweaks to suspension, some better shocks, so they'll update the shocks, update the tires, have a more rugged look to it. I For sure, that's going to happen. I can see, still see them offering an S grade, a base level grade, because again, they're going to need some volume from this. I can see this still being a really good, and so I can see them keeping this as a fleet sale option a truck in the S grade. I can see them doing their standard SV trim. I don't know that I see a Platinum Reserve in this truck. Uh, I don't think the GMC Canyon Denali has sold really well. And I don't think the Platinum Reserve Titan has sold that well. And so I don't think that they're going to do this Nissan Frontier. I just don't think the price point they're trying to hit to be, again, that value-driven brand is really going to make it, make it happen. Now, I keep saying that value-driven brand. They could easily change their mind completely, blow it all up, and say they're going to be a, more of a premium brand or whatever that they're going for, and they could really increase the price point on what their average transaction, what their hopes are going to be. But if I was running Nissan, I would say, hey, we got a truck that works pretty well right now. We're making second place in sales on an old truck. If we just improve it, and if we can keep our market share the same as it is today with all the new competitors coming up in the marketplace, and we can keep selling trucks, I'd be really happy with that. I don't think Nissan Frontier is going to expand sales with the new Gladiator, a new Ranger, and a new Tacoma coming in a couple of years. I don't see that happening, but I can see it holding its own in that market, and that, to me, would be a win-win for Nissan. So there you go. There are my expectations on a new 2020, I'm saying, Nissan Frontier. I could see it coming out in October. My guess is October. It's a Texas State Fair. It's a, one of the biggest truck shows now in the country. Um, a lot of things going to unveiled there. I don't see them waiting until November for the LA Auto Show. Nissan says the truck's ready right now. So if they keep selling 19s into uh, July, they do the changeover for the factory starting in July. They start rolling off the first 2020s in September and it's through the for demos and they keep doing their testing they'll test the assembly line process they'll set the build process they'll take some of those trucks and do crash testing mile per gallon runs and then they do the launch in october i can just see the timeline coming out i can see the end of fourth quarter of 2020 or fourth quarter of 2019 as it coming out of a 2020 model that's my guess i don't think nissan's gonna sit around anymore they've seen all the competitors they've seen everybody's out everybody's shown their cards Nissan's the last to show their cards, and I think that's going to come in October. That's my guess. I'm sure if I'm wrong, you'll let me know, but uh, that is my guess. So, hey, if you found this in video informative, make sure you subscribe below. Hit bell notification to be notified of new videos put out. Put comments below if you want to see me see, you, see me do another video on something else. I'm always willing to do that. Uh, find us on PickupTruckTalk.com. Also, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Type in Pickup Truck Talk. We're there. See three words both ways. Pretty easy to find us. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.